I worked very, very hard because it was a very long way to entertain y'all today and teach y'all a little something, something, okay? So uh, when we get started, I'm just letting y'all know, as I go on the presentation, you're going to see the energy <laughs> gradually go up. Right now, we're going to be calm just so I don't scare y'all. But as things go, we're going to go up, okay? Like planes in the air. And we ain't coming down till we done. I hope y'all not shy either. Uh, I don't know how many people are going to be here. At this point, it doesn't matter. I perform in front of 100, 1,000, or 1. I'm going to give 100% regardless. Um, I do feed off the energy of the crowd, though. And I have created a chant that I'm looking at everybody's eyes intentionally right now to see how daring you're going to be today to sing a short chant with me on WordPress. And if people feel like they don't want to be involved in that chant, that's OK. You don't have to say anything, but I will look at you sideways. OK? All right. No, 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 no pressure on me. I'm making sure I ain't pressure on y'all. It's just hot. Athens is hot. That's, you know what I'm saying? I'm sweating because it's hot. Like, it's, it's real hot. But I thank you all for, for joining. Um, you know, we're at the one minute I was, you know, letting people kind of trickle in and stuff. So I'm going to just kind of get into the introduction and all that stuff, all that jazz. And then as people come in, we'll really get deep and dive, you know, we'll deep dive into everything we're talking about today. So everybody, how's everybody feeling, first of all? Everybody all right? All right, all right. Everybody came a long way? Pretty, pretty short? So nobody traveled hundreds of thousands of miles to get here? I Yeah. I, we have William as well, too. Nobody else, huh? All right. So, yeah, I've been, I've been waiting for this day for almost two months. I've prepared very, really, really, really hard. I've been through a lot to be here. I was just in Albania two days ago. And let me tell you, that was a trip. I had to take a train to a plane to a taxi to a ferry to get to Albania. Uh, lovely people, lovely people here in Greece as well, too. Uh, but I've been learning a lot about different cultures since I've been in Eastern Europe, which is a little different than, you know, the Western Hemisphere. So my, my mind and brain has been open to a degree that has never been before from an experience standpoint. And that's something that I'm aiming to bring to the table for you all today, every single person here. Yes, the topic is about templates, and I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of you guys know about templates already, let's be honest. But I'm going to put a fresh perspective on it, give you guys a little bit of jazz, a little bit of entertainment as well. Because one thing I did, and I studied everybody's workshop for the past two years. Yes, I did. I watched every single one. I wanted to see what people were doing, their mannerisms, how excited people were in the room. I wanted to be different. And I also wanted to model what worked. And one thing I did notice was I felt like a lot of the workshops were a little monotone. Now, I'm not sure if that's a WordPress thing, or that's just a geek thing, or that's just an R thing. But I want to bring a little cultural flavor, if that makes sense into this. I don't think we have a lot of that in WordPress sometimes. So that's what I'm going to be bringing to the table today on top of the templates. And I'm hoping y'all, you guys will you know, rock out with me a little bit. I'm also going to walk around the stage, too, because I saw everybody be standing right here. So if I move from the you know, mic, does that affect your guys' recording? Yes. It does? Yeah. So, yeah. Let me get the hand here. I'm moving. Come on, baby, we moving. We ain't standing still. We got to go. We on a mission today. Shoot. I told people this is going to be the best workshop that anybody has been to in a very long time, if ever, and I was going to make a historic landmark today. Thank you. OK, can y'all hear me? Should I turn this off for no echo? Or do you turn it off? OK, all right. Hey, I'm going to be honest. I don't, I, listen, I've been to a couple work camps, and I've trusted the sound and the video, and I've been let down sometimes, so I can't prepare my own stuff. So if y'all need some help, I'm AV2. Let's work together. Love is love. Come on. See? Internet connection dropping right now. That's, look, that's how, look, that's how they do. I'm <laughs> right now. That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to distract y'all and make sure this internet is going good. All right. Okay. So presentation is called Fresh Off the Block. Transform WordPress with templates. Let me get some of my water because it is hot. Okay. So just a little bit about me. I already gave you guys a little gist of my journey so far. I haven't given you a lot. This has been crazy. Uh, but a little bit about me. I'm a brand webmaster uh, and founder of Iconic Expressions. It's a creative agency. Uh, eight years ago, 
Uh, I have eight years of experience, excuse me, uh, in marketing, strategy, um, development, um, project management, more things, more things, blah, 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 who cares, right? I started Iconic Templates in 2022, and the reason why that's significant, because that's what gave me a lot of confidence to even have the presentation I have for you today. It's kind of like my sub-brand of my main company, where we provide free and premium templates for people based on WordPress. Um, outside of just Gutenberg or theme-based templates. I tried, I want to hit a different angle because a lot of plugins have the export and import capability that most people don't take advantage of, and those are templates. I'll go deeper into that. I saw that face. That was a half, half will, uh, uh, what are you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? All right. Look, I'm going to say some American jokes and then some other jokes, some universal jokes. I'm going to see which ones y'all get because, listen, we all got to learn today. Uh, I enjoy using technology and strategies to simplify life, cooking, reading, and traveling, and more and more. So without that handy phone right there, I would be, that's my best buddy. That has been my best buddy this entire trip, my best friend this entire trip. Because without my phone and GPS, and I would be lost, y'all. I would not be here today. Y'all be like, where's Maestro? He's not here. That's because he's somewhere he should not be. And not because I wanted to be there either. All right, so here comes it. I did prepare y'all. I gave y'all icebreaker before the icebreaker, right? The icebreaker is coming. Look, I see a couple of frowns, smiles, a little side. You know, I see some things. I'm looking at eyes. 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 All right. So the icebreaker. I came up with a very, very, very simple anthem. Very simple. If you guys can't get this, I don't know if we can do the rest of the presentation. We gonna, this is going to be the test right here. Very simple, very simple anthem. Um, but before we get to that, I, look, I'm doing twice. I prepared y'all twice because I, I kind of feel the fear that some people are going to try to scapegoat out of the anthem. There is a free giveaway that I want to do. Um, all you have to do is submit a web page. Since we're doing a presentation on templates, I just want us all to be able to say, hey, if you feel like you have a web page that looks really, really good and really, really nice, at the end, we'll just vote and say who's, you know, who's got the best one, and I'm going to g give you just a giveaway. Now, here's the thing. I did not want to get it yet until I knew who won because what I was going to do originally was get something from Greece, but what I didn't want to do was get something from Greece that's uh, very, you know, native, and then the person from Greece gets it, and it's just like, ah, uh, you know, why'd you give me this thing, and I already have this. Uh, so it was like, let me wait and see because depending on where you're from is what I want to be able to give you, and it's just going to be something simple. That's all. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this next part? I gave y'all three icebreakers right now. Let's, okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it a couple times. Y'all are going to get the gist. Y'all are going to hear the cadence to it, the tone. I use cadence for a keyword because we're going to get into that later. Y'all will get, I'm a big person, I connect dots, you know, you know, we'll bring it back and then bring it forward and bring it back. And like, hey, I didn't know that connected with like a movie. You know how the movie, like the movie where they connect the, at the end of the movie to the beginning of the movie, that one thing they said and it comes back? All right, so it goes like this. I'm fresh, I'm fresh, off the block, the block, and that's my word, my word, press. Now, I said it very bland and simple intentionally for you guys, but I'll put no umph into it to show you how simple it can be. If you can't do it that simple, I don't know. I'm going to do it again with a little more jazz, okay? I'm fresh, I'm fresh off the block, the block, and that's my word, my word, my word, press and press, uh. I'm fresh, I'm fresh off the block, the block, and that's my word, my word, my word, press and press, okay. I'm fresh, I'm fresh off the block, the block, and that's my word, my word, my word. Word, press and press again. I'm fresh, I'm fresh off the block, the block, and that's my word, my word, my word, press and press. One more time. I'm fresh, I'm fresh off the block, the block, and that's my word. She got it. My word, my word, press and press. One more time. I trick y'all. I'm fresh, I'm fresh off the block, the block. And that's my word, my word, my word, press and press. Okay, I'm a little impressed. I'm a little impressed. Get the press, work, press. Y'all, yeah, come on, man.
Now, the reason why I wrote it that way is because, one, the presentation is called Fresh Off the Block. That's very simple, right? Okay. Why would I name it Fresh Off the Block? The reason why I named it Fresh Off the Block is because I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I literally came from the hood. So I come from a very poverty-stricken area, and then in Cleveland, we're trying to change that. Um, and we consider that, from my culture, being on the block. I'm sure y'all have heard that term in some way, movies, TV shows, something, right? Also, in WordPress, there's a thing called blocks. <laughs> double, double usage. Block, block. Y'all ain't rocking with me. Come on, come on, man. Jeez. And then we also use the term word. So when people say, like, hey, you're going to do the word, word means, like, you're holding your, uh, you're holding your promise. Or it means what is, is. It's done. I got it. Word. So you go into the, you go into the, the, the conference, the WordCamp conference, the EU? Yeah, word. That's how we say So at word, pre oh, my God, I'm moving on. <laughs> I'm moving on. Let's go. Y'all just want to get into the presentation and stuff. I'm trying to have some fun with y'all. Told you, I worked hard for this. It came a long way. Agenda. So let's talk about this agenda, OK? The agenda, we're going to start off with templates. We're going to go into a WordPress setup. We're going to talk about page building with templates, form building with templates, video publishing with templates, and we're going to do a group fresher size. Not exercise, fresher size. Ah, I, yeah, I'm going to clap for myself on that one. <laughs> Come on, y'all. So one other thing y'all going to notice about this presentation, it's very thematic, right? Very thematic. I, I went hard with the theme. Like, I went hard with the theme. So everything in here, you're going to see little nuances and snippets like of themes. I'm a big fan of movies. I'm a big fan of stories. I'm a big fan of setting the scene. So it's not just all this stuff that we're going to be talking about. You, when it comes to kids, you got to give them the sugar with the medicine. Right? Right? So same thing when it comes to education. You know, this stuff is boring sometimes. So if you add color around it, no pun intended, but pun intended, add some color around it, it may be more palatable for people. So that's why I got real, real big on the theme, and I had my designer for my company do all this jazz and stuff for you guys. Otherwise, it would be a white screen, black text, and it would be plain Jane stuff, because that's how I be sometimes. I keep it simple. So let's talk about templates. Templates in WordPress are considered things like patterns from Gutenberg, reusable blocks, video presets, reusable videos, hooked elements, child themes, design libraries, and code snippets. So now you're understanding this word that we call templates, and this is something that I am going to have a conversation with some of the uppers. Oh, yeah. I'm getting up. I'm getting there. I'm here now. So I'm going to talk to some people, y'all. But this thing, when it comes to templates, has been very confusing. There's a lot of terminology in WordPress sometimes that gets confusing. Um, and so I wanted to help kind of alleviate that confusion and say all these things are considered templates, even if they're named different things. They're still templates. Does that make sense? Okay. Because one thing I got confused of was the patterns. Like, why didn't y'all just call them templates? Why are they called patterns? I'm used to patterns being polka dots and triangles and things like that, right? Not necessarily templates. So the naming convention matters because what one plugin calls one thing, another plugin will call another, and it's the same thing. And then we get confused in conversation and communication when we're trying to make things happen. So that's why I said, hey, let me share what templates can be considered. There are also kits, blueprints, processes, SOPs, standard operating procedures, and models. So templates could be a lot of things. No matter what the actual name of the template type, templates are a lot of things. So that's one thing I wanted everybody to understand is that we aren't just talking about templates um, you know, in Gutenberg, but we're discussing the concept of what templates are and then diving deeper on how to use them within WordPress and Gutenberg. Does that make sense? 
All right. I'm going to be asking y'all that throughout the presentation to make sure y'all are awake. Because if y'all fall asleep on me, I will ring the bell. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> we going hey, to work. We're going to make it work. We're going to fly today. Shh, I told y'all. Didn't I say the energy's going to go as we go? All right. So let me give y'all a fresh tip real quick. Fresh tip. Told y'all the theme is coming. Here's a template advantage. The first thing is, is when it comes to templates, they're, bas they're basically giving you a great starting point. If a template's not giving you a great starting point, it is purposeless. Like, there's no reason for you to have a template if you feel like you got to start from scratch. So that's what templates are for. They also give you a great framework to work from. Um, so, you know, you don't have to start from scratch. You, also, you have something that you're able to model with. And then templates also help in the WordPress world create less development. You shouldn't be developing as much, and I know we have some developers in here. I'm looking to see who, who's going to wink at me. Like, I'm a developer. I ain't going to wink yet. Okay. Uh, so, it helps you less develop for people who are or are not developers. I finally got a smile. You are a hard one, man. Dang. <laughs> Uh, so people are less developed, uh, and then it also gives you more free time, right? You, get, you should have more free time. If you're using a template and it's not giving you more time back, so you can go do whatever you want to do, then the template is, I don't want to say useless, but it's not efficient. I did want to say useless, but I know these days we have to be careful with the words we say. We can't make it. But the template ain't right. So that's what templates, the template advantage is supposed to give you. And if it doesn't give you that advantage, then it ain't giving you what you need. So let's talk about WordPress. Um, I believe um, you know, they gave everybody the uh, ability, or at least the heads up, of like getting the local installation you know, of WordPress on your computer if you wanted to follow along. And so I'm just kind of reiterating that with the two uh, platforms I use. I mainly use local WP, um, and sometimes I use Kinsta. There's one more I use, but it's more of a sandbox site. But I use it as um, just you know, WordPress, just uh, temporary sites myself. So if you didn't have it, here you go. Because I'm going to go to the next one. All right, nobody's bringing out their phone. We're good. And they're pretty easy to find anyway. All right. So these are the plugins. If you have not added these plugins yet to your site, I'm hoping everybody here has a sandbox site or a playground site or some type of fake site or just a practice site, whatever site you want to call it. But these are the plugins that we're going to talk about today um, that will give us some we'll say experience, practice, or understanding with templates. Um, this is not a, what, what is the term, exhaustive list. This is not a definite list. You can use whatever alternative tool or plugin, your favorite thing, as long as it has you know, similar abilities that these have, but I just wanted to share that with you. So we have Cadence WP, and that's the reason why I said before the Cadence, and that's the reason why I actually added the anthem, and I said, hey, follow my cadence, and I said, I'll bring it back, because that's actually one of the tools that we'll be using. Once again, I brought it back. Yeah. Oh, my God. Whew. Uh, Fluent Forms. So that's the next one right here. It's a form plugin. It's one of my favorite ones. Um, I believe the owner here, I, it's, his name is so hard to say. I just want to call him SJ. But we took a picture last night at the social event, and it was pretty great, like just you know, meeting you know, one of my favorite developers and owners of a plugin. Our company, so it's kind of cool. Uh, but um, we're going to be using that as well. You can use whatever you want to use as long as there's an export import feature. But I would advise just to try this out for today. And then Presto Player here is a video plugin, um, and we're going to be using this when it comes to templates as well, just to give you a demonstration. A these two have more alternatives. Presto Player is a lot more unique than um, what you're going to find alternatively in WordPress in the repo. Page building with templates. So when it comes to page building with templates, I did mention this before as far as the word patterns. Mm, mm, mm. I know I'm going to get a stern talking to after my presentation at some point in time. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something wrong. I, I know it. You know, I'm gonna, it's just the WordPress gods are going to get on me. But either way, patterns and reusable blocks. So patterns are templates. And you will find that in Gutenberg Editor. And then re reusable blocks are also templates that you won't find in the Gutenberg editor, but you create in the Gutenberg editor. And I'm going to show you that as well, too. I have my, um, 
a, 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 a sandbox side up. I'm gonna have to bring it up here in a second, and I'll bring it up here in a second. I just wanted to keep this presentation on top. And then we also have the, oh, here goes the internet. Mm, mm, mm. They be messing with us, man. Because, uh, yeah, the picture is not supposed to be blurry like that. All right, I'm going to go back one, and we're going to go back to it. There we go. See, how? look at how simple that was. All right, so uh, when it comes to templates, there is um, most of them like Elementor and Stackable. Um, what else is there? Somebody name another popular one um, as far as blocks. And anymore? Blocks, blocks, um, blocks wise, does anybody have any favorite block based plugin types that they use to build work websites with? Generate blocks. Generate blocks, that's a good one, thank you. So I'm just saying to say that they have design libraries and template libraries too. That's, that's the point of why I'm bringing it up. So you know what I'm saying? If you have a favorite one, just look for it there. And then with Cadence's theme, they also have what's considered starter templates. Again, other themes have this. And that's something that I want people to really understand. There's templates that are based in Gutenberg, based on blocks, and there's templates that are based on themes. And they're not the same thing. People get very confused on that. Now, when you bring up a template from you know, any type of like Elementor or um, Cadence, uh, or Divi or Visual Composer, things like that. Yeah, it's going to add the blocks with it to build, but it's not the same thing. It's going to add the blocks with the theme. It's going to, you know, style it out for you and then add the certain areas, the blocks and the elements and stuff. But they are two different things because you can technically use uh, Cadence's blocks without using Cadence theme. You can use uh, Generate Press theme if you want to and then use Cadence blocks. People typically use two to three block based plugins when they are building websites. So here's another fresh tip right here, and then we're gonna go into my, uh, the WordPress site. Duplicate pages and posts. So this is another great way for you to be able to create templates. Um, just make a page, use either a code snippet plugin, or you can use a actual plugin to be able to duplicate the posts. There you go, you have a template. Just duplicate it. So let me bring up this. One second. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go here so you can see the plugins. And again, as I mentioned before, uh, Fluid Forms, Cadence Blocks, Presto Player. And then for this situation, I did add the plugin duplicate page instead of just adding a code snippet plugin and adding a code. But these are the ones that will help you create templates. So let me go here. I should have definitely changed up my, um, the order of my screen, but that's all right. We on, we, we're on the fly. So let's, start, let's, go, let's go to Cadence. I want to show you real quick. So if I go to pages, and we're going to go to, we'll just add a new page. How about that? It's called fresh off the block. Let's start with a fresh page. That would just make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm talking to myself, but I'm talking to you at the same time, kind of, you know? You got to do that sometime. And we're going to see how this internet acts. Because if not, I'm going to go to data and hope it works. Okay, okay, let's try it. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Can you use... Um, yeah, 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 use local. Yeah, that's fine. No, uh, I mean, even in a local environment, all the plugins that I, I'm, I'm demonstrating, you can find those in the, in the repo even in local. So nothing, nothing outside of the local I'm gonna be, you know, is what we're gonna be focusing on. I try to do that just in case, to your point. You know, so, it, so if you're using local, you don't have to use something that needs to connect. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Oh, you're saying you didn't, when we were on the slide, you didn't um, catch yeah, the... I, I took the picture of the, the form. And did it go to the form? Yeah. Okay. The page URL. Yeah, yeah, just drop um, any page you are, the page URL that you want to submit. Oh, okay. Yeah, any page, you, any page URL that you want to submit that you, you, you deem worthy to, okay. yeah, to be, you know, yeah, 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 that's it. Well, <laughs> is that a trick question? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. This is a test. Is, is this a plant here? Like, where's Ashton Kutcher? If I get punked right now? I mean, is this a... <laughs> no, it's got to be WordPress. You know, you don't get me in trouble now. It's going to get on me. You might show you... <laughs> Woo! I know. Listen, I would normally, but we'd be a watch right now and recorded. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you got me sweating just off of that question. All right, listen. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Um, I'm gonna re try to re redo this, re uh, turn off the Wi-Fi, reconnect the thing. And let's see, let's see. If not, I'll just have to use my, uh, okay. Is there? Oh, I wasn't told this before. Okay, I see, I see it now. I got it, I got it. Look, I'm lucky I got an Ethernet adapter because some of these adapters don't come with Ethernet cords. I'm just letting y'all know. I actually bought one just in case for this situation. So, <sighs> whoo, you got to come triple prepared. It's great to be prepared. You don't ever know. All right, now let's try. We're in here now? All right, good. All right, so let's just get this mouse going. And as I mentioned before, like for instance, Cadence, we have the design library. And so, okay, there we go. So, when it comes to the design library, you can pick, you know, choose and click it to import uh, a template like that. Um, and it's very simple. Same thing when it comes to patterns. Uh, 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 uh. Where are my patterns? Should say patterns. Let's, uh, let's try. Let's click off of here and try this again. <coughs> Interesting. <coughs> Interesting. I, I listen. I'm. I just the patterns was just showing up twenty minutes ago. And normally it's right here. I mean, I you know even in the picture. I showed y'all, so that's interesting. And this is why I love stuff like this. There we go. See, see how it wasn't there? Y'all would have thought I was crazy. Like, I mean, y'all saw that, right? Okay, y'all are probably questioning me. Like, he didn't come prepared. I told y'all, I've been practicing this two months. But you always get tested. I need a witness. Can I get a witness? <laughs> Hallelujah. I didn't get a witness. Goodness. Okay. All right, so patterns are the same thing here. And so you can click anything. You know any any type of pattern, and it just gives you another, it gives you a template. So I just wanted to you know show you demonstrate that that it's the same thing. You can use WordPress's native templates, which are patterns, or you can use your plugin based template, um, your block plugin based template to be specific as well when it comes to templates. So let's talk about forms, okay? Forms. Uh, form building with templates, excuse me, is very, very simple. Or, build, yeah, bu building forms with templates is very, very simple. Um, and let me give you guys a quick story that made me actually appreciate the, like, more modern-based form plugins. And I'm probably going to have somebody in here that's not going to like me after I kind of give you this story because there's probably somebody who just loves this plugin I'm going to name. But contact form seven, y'all. Yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah. I learned the hard way. Contact Form 7 is... Anybody here work for Contact Form 7? <laughs> I told you! It's always one! It's always one! <laughs> well, I anyway, um, uh, I was working on a uh, client site, working with uh, another agency, working work on a client site, and I recommended using this form plugin here to build out the site. 
we ended up building the site with this form plugin, and then a month later, they had requirements that wanted us to switch back to contact form seven for integration purpose or something like that. When I tell you, me and my developer went through so much headache because contact form seven is a little different when it comes to building um, out your forms. It's not like block based, and we're used to the more modern block based. So when it came to them asking us for help to um, edit the form and to change things on the form and stuff, it was totally different than how we're used to working. So we had to create a whole slew of SOP, um, you know, uh, SOPs for them in order so they can learn how to change things on the form. And I really want to tell them, y'all should have just used Fluent Form. And that was my lesson. And it literally just happened like 10 days ago, I'm being honest with you guys. It literally just happened. So I'm like, it was very relevant to, to the situation now, and it made me appreciate a little bit more having more of a block base versus having um, uh, more of a code base. I guess that's the best way I would say it. Like, I'm a nerd, but I ain't a nerd, 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 like some of y'all are nerd, nerd, nerds. I'm like two nerds down. Some of y'all here are like five steps down when it comes to nerdism. And yes, nerdism is a real word. But with Fluent Forms, uh, you're able to export and import forms, and that's one of my favorite, favorite features when it comes to being able to share and give others or have somebody give something to you or be able to just have um, templates, you know, for your own self, for your own team and your own internal working. So don't sleep on the export, import feature when it comes to templates. So here's another fresh tip right here. See, now I'm going to help you out because I, I feel like I hurt your feelings a little bit because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know I got a little bone to pick with this as well, too. Uh, but here's another fresh tip. Um, when it comes to Fluent Forms, you can just go to fluentforms.com backslash forms, and you're able to see their demo forms. Now, in the plugin Fluent Forms, and I'm going to show you here in a second, you're able to see only certain so many forms, but then you have to go here to see more of their demo forms. And that's something that I'm going to generously make a small, I don't want to call it complaint, but just like, hey. See, when you flew out hundreds of miles, oh, you, there's a lot of things you've been waiting to say to a lot of people in person. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. You be holding it back. Because trying to get through the internet and, the, and you know, submit the email and the request page and all that stuff, yeah, that get. But when you see a person's eyes in person, like I'm seeing y'all, because y'all ain't going to forget me after this presentation, I promise you that. It's a whole different ballgame and feeling. Y'all do look good, by the way. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. You know, everybody looking, looking nice and fresh. <laughs> Whew. Oh, I'm definitely having me a nice drink. <laughs> the stiffest of all drinks. Okay, so we're adding a new form. As you can see, we see them right here. Like, you see a, a little sneak peek of what it looks like, but then as you scroll down, you don't see what it looks like until you click it, right? Again, to me, that's like a time, you know, waster, not a saver for me, because I want to see what it looks like before clicking it. I don't want to have to click it to see it. That's why I gave you all that other website, because you can go there and see the forms. And that's something that, again, I think, you know, it just could be uh, improved upon, but I'm not saying that um, what's being done is not great. And the same thing with contact form seven. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, but sometimes there are things that you can do to update, upgrade, and accommodate others. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, yeah, I see, all right, hold on. I asked that before and it was, yeah, and then this time I was like, yeah. I told you, y'all fall asleep on me. <laughs> oh, boy, do y'all not know. So let's talk about video publishing with templates. Oh, but, but let, me, let, me, let me show y'all real quick before, before we go there, because I was kind of kind of compile a lot of the stuff at the end, but I'm not gonna do that too much. Let me go to uh, settings, tools. I just want to show you guys where you would find it at. So it's in the tools section, export forms, import forms. That simple. That simple. And then you select your form here, whatever you make, and then you export it. And then that's something that you can give, you can sell, you can um, hold to yourself. I don't put it in a bottle and put it in the Mediterranean Sea. I can finally say that because I'm near it. Ah. Ah, okay. Uh, but let's go to video publishing with templates. So with the tool Presto Player, um, you have what they call video presets. So this is another thing where it's like, why didn't you just call them templates? But they call them presets, just like we have patterns. 
They are templates. That's basically what it is. You click on one of these and it sets up your video in a certain way um, that you'll be able to kind of have certain features on your video player that you would have to set up in any other way. Who here uses Wistia, Vimeo, YouTube? No Wistias or, or Vimeos? Wow, that's shocking. If I took a poll right now, I would have never guessed that. Okay, and the reason why I say that is because Vimeo is typically, it has a different type of, um, how can I say it? It's like Android is to, now Androiders don't, come on now, don't, don't crucify me for this. I'm doing this off the fly too, I ain't make this part of the presentation up. But Android is to what I would say YouTube is, what Apple is to Vimeo. Does that make sense? I hear William says it makes sense. I don't know, does it make sense to anybody else? Okay, so that's why I said I would, I would have thought because WordPressers are very particular. You see how my voice went? Very particular about their stuff. You know, about how they want stuff to be presented. And, that, and Vimeo, it accommodates you more. With YouTube, you don't have that same type of nuance and flexibility. You got to kind of go with the flow of YouTube. And it's not necessarily as private. So that's why I assumed everybody here would be using more Vimeo or Wistia over YouTube. But then at the same time, I'm going to just keep it real with y'all. Listen, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I know budgeting when it's necessary. And YouTube is free. And that's why I'm assuming everybody in here uses it because we know WordPresses are cheap. Yes, I said it. Camera, get me right now. Sometimes we are cheap. We don't want to pay for nothing. Jeez, I be feeling bad for these developers and owners. I'm calling some people out. Contact Form 7, I need to pay for that. Shoo. All right, so reusable video. Um, like reusable blocks, uh, you have reusable videos. And again, I'm going to show you after, after I show you the picture. Um, I took a long time. I'm saying this is a snapshot, right? Uh, so re reusable videos, you have a media hub. And in the media hub, you're able to add your videos. And then when you add your videos to the media hub, anywhere um, on any page at any time, you can just bring in that video from your media hub. So you create a video, you have the presets, and then you bring it in on any page at any time. Once again, it's a video template that if you know you're going to repurpose a video and bring it back and you want the same settings, don't do it over again. Just create a template. And see, I have it right here. I didn't know us cheapers, WordPressers, were going to be on this. I thought we'd be on this. Have y'all heard of bunny.net? Nobody's heard of bunny.net? OK. Well, as Kevin Hart says, you're going to learn today. So bunny.net is an alternative to YouTube and Vimeo. It, came, it started as Bunny CDN. And I'm sure we've heard of Cloudflare, right? Cloudflare, okay. We've heard of Cloudflare. Uh, Bunny.net is an alternative to Cloudflare, and they ended up going into the video storage, video hosting, other nuances into uh, nuances. And so this, I mean, I, I put like 50 bucks probably three years ago, and I still have 40 bucks in my account. Like it barely uses anything. I'm going to say that one more time, Chief WordPressers. I put 50 bucks on the account three years ago, and I still have about $40 left. And my video gets played anywhere because it has a CDN attached to it as well, too. Uh, and it's fast. And guess what? YouTube stuff doesn't pop up when somebody pauses. Okay, all right. I'm going to pause right there for y'all. All right, so before we get into the group fresher size, Y'all get fresher size now, right? Exercise, fresher size. Look, we're going to stretch it out today. Um, let me go and show you what it looks like. I'm looking at the time. Okay. I'm going to start wrapping it up in about five, seven minutes, and then any questions, we'll go there. All right, so let me go back to pages. Oh, I am in pages. In this one, I'm hoping that uh, I still have this video so I can show y'all on it because I didn't. Did I save it? Now let me go back, let me go back. It shouldn't be a draft. And that's the only thing, I, I can't stand sometimes where like drafts come in. And uh, I thought you, when you save it, oh, let me see. Otherwise, I'm just gonna add a video. Okay. So what I'll do is, I'll go back here. Go to the bottom here. Type a, uh, and then we'll add, 
Presto Player YouTube. And then let me get a YouTube video, because I want to show y'all what this looks like. Because um, I'm, I'm assuming most people here have never heard of Presto Player. Is that assumption correct, that most people haven't heard of Presto Player? OK, well, this is about to be your, your first time. Um, I'm going to get a WordPress video right here. This would be appropriate. I would say so. OK. Uh, OK, I'm about to just get a random video talking about WordPress, OK? Just so y'all can pretty much see. What's up, guys? So if you're watching this. All right, so I'm going to grab this URL and bring it right here. And voila, now we have a video here. But the thing about this is, it's just not any video. It has a nice skin over it. It's not YouTube. Ugh, the YouTube is terrible. And then anytime I, can, I click on any of these presets here, it changes a little bit of the different options. Now, I'm not going to get too far into how that's a great thing. But if you want to go something simple, and you don't want people to have control. There's sometimes where you do and don't want people to have certain control. Is the video a marketing video? Is it a sales video? Is it a learning video, right? The control of the video creates the experience. And a lot of times we just create videos and we don't understand it's the experience that people have that really gives them more of um, the result that they're looking for. And it's not just the video itself. So that's Presto Player right there. And then as far as The reusable block standpoint, let me show you all the reusable block while I'm here. For those who haven't learned how to use a reusable block, if I click create reusable block, I'm just going to say WRD, and then now it's a reusable block, and you should be able to see it right here. You won't see this until you create a reusable block. There, now you have a template right there. Same thing with um, Presto Player as far as the gallery, is not gallery, excuse me, but the um, Media Hub is concerned, we go here, Media Hub, and then you would add the video here, the same way that I just added it before. And then once you do, you can save this and then you can bring this up anywhere on any page at any time. So that is literally how you use templates when it comes to video. Now does that make sense? I, uh, okay, I notice how it's getting quieter, yeah, okay. So it looks like we don't need to go to the, 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 the fresher size. In, in the group fresher size, it wasn't really anything major. I just wanted to kind of just get y'all's get y'all's attention. Uh, but the main the main part is is that I wanted anybody here to be able to if you um, do want to tr uh, uh, test out templates, as I mentioned before, we have some free templates that you can use, or you can use the Cadence library. I'll go back one more time if anybody did want to take a snapshot of it, or you can use the Cadence Design Library and um, how you would add it, I'm going to show you here. Pages. Okay, so as I mentioned before, um, like stackable um, obviously, we're on here on Cadence. Uh, ultimate uh, add-ons with Gutenberg is now Spectra. They all have the same, you know, a similar design library. So as far as building a page out, I would say for the most part, what you want to do when you're using these templates, think, think of like the different categories. And when it comes to a page, think of how you would lay out certain um, sections on the page. So if we were building a landing page, and we're, this is now where I'm going to get a little bit of participation. I'm, I'm going to give away the first one, hero. I would think a hero would make a lot, a lot of sense for a landing page. Now when it comes to this second session, if we were building a landing page for um, just a simple, a simple site, what would, the, what would the next, or could the next section be you know, anybody here based on just looking at the categories here? And anybody can just throw anything out, and I'll just add it any time. And you can just say a, a category. You don't have to say a specific one. But what would the next section, like, what would you, what would you say? I would say features, but it's not there. That's a good one. Yeah, I would say features too. 
and here's the, and I'm glad you said that, and it's not there because this is another thing where it could be there, just could be another name. You know what I'm saying? So everybody doesn't use the term features when it comes to, so that's something that I'm glad you said that because we have to peep that. We don't, like, it's not there, but yet we can still create a features by, let's see, like a feature set, like, could this be a feature section? Yeah. Or probably medium text. Medium text? Nope. I'll go back to list. So for example, boom. So we go from a hero to the features section. We just want to talk about this could be anything. This could be the features of our product. This could be the features of our service. That would be the next thing. OK, bam, we have a hero. Obviously, there needs to be a, some type of um, a footer, but you know, we don't go into a footer. We'll do two more sections. Anybody else have you know, two more sections before we say there's a fake footer there? Services? Um, is that a word that we see? Uh, nope. Nope. No services. Well, we can use, a, we can create a services. It could be a pricing section. And then we turn it to services. And so this is the why I'm calling this the exercise. You see how either you're not, y'all you are, are getting tired and stuff, and you're, or y'all are really trying to think, okay, how would I lay this out using the terms within somebody else's library. You see why we're doing this right now? Because some names aren't going to be there. That's something that most people don't know and don't learn, and it confuses them and has them stuck. So you got to talk it out and you got to walk it out and go through it. And you say, okay, it's not, no features, no services, but I can, I can delete this, delete this, and delete that, and I can create the services part. That's what templates are supposed to be for. If they're not all the way there and ready for you, then you just manipulate them just a little bit. Just, it's just like resources, I agree. So I just wanted to go through that with you all because once again, it's just something that when there's different naming conventions, it confuses a lot of people, especially when you're playing in somebody else's sandbox. But if you have a, a mentality of, okay, that may not be called that there, but it looks like that, I can use that and then change it to my, bend it to my will. All right. Anybody got any questions? I was just joking. So let's do a refresher here. Uh, we talked about templates. We um, went over how you can add a you know, local environment to your WordPress website and add the, the plugins to create the templates. Then we went into page building with templates um, and then form building with templates. And then last, we mentioned the video publishing using templates. So those are the main three, and there's, it, the list goes on, but page building, form building, and video publishing are three ways that you can use templates very efficiently, and it will save you hundreds of hours if you do it without trying to be all, get into that developer mode where you're just like, okay, I'm using the template, but now I'm gonna start doing it from scratch. Well, that defeats the whole purpose of the template. And oftentimes we do that. So I encourage you to start fresh on WordPress. You know, if you have a, if you're building a new site, if you're doing something, I encourage you to try out using templates. If you're not using templates, if you typically build it from scratch, I feel like that it's a great way to get your mind into that direction. And then you can continue to build from scratch as you want to. But if you start to train yourself to use templates more, you can train others to use templates as well, too, because we like to practice what we preach around here, right? And then that way, the people who are helping you or working with you, they can really adopt using templates, and then you can continue to do what you do and how you do it. So does anybody have any questions? Oh, the, question, the question is, in templates, are there plugins, built-in templates sometimes that you have to be careful of? Are there plugins built in the templates that you gotta be careful yes. of? Uh, if, for example, you download you know, a theme or a starter kit or something like that, they do typically give you the option like, to add the plugins with it. So I would say you should always be careful because you never know. Okay. But um, if it's a plugin, that is popular and has nice ratings. Um, again, you know, I don't want to go too deep, deep, but I have a system of type of plugins that I use based on criteria, just for safety reasons. I would um, use your own method uh, and just be very cautious. But to your point, yeah, you got to be careful all the time. But did I, did I answer your question? Okay, okay. Thank you, by the way.
listen, y'all don't ask me questions. I'm going to just start asking y'all questions. I promise y'all. Like, I'm going to just start looking y'all dead in the eye and ask you a question. If y'all don't. Yeah. You. Hello. <laughs> they want to mic you up. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know if they, we don't need to, we don't need to officially do it again. We don't need to officially do it again. Ask the question again. It was good. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I need to ask the question again? Yes. I guess. So. Okay. Um, yeah. Can Can we do the same thing without using any plugins or to do that? templates uh, without using any plugins at all only with a fresh WordPress you can you can use um, different code snippets you know there's PHP I mean with uh, Gutenberg and uh, the tools uh, WordPress gives you from uh, a fresh install from a fresh yeah I mean if you want to there are people who don't use any block based plugins and they only use the Gutenberg blocks you know to that to that point um, and they don't add a plugin I mean Let's just be honest. I mean, who's not adding plugins to WordPress? Like, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if that's a trick question again, but I'm like, is, is anybody in here use WordPress with no plugins? Be honest. I didn't see a single hand go up. So, I mean, practically speaking, I don't think that, you know, anybody's going to use WordPress without plugins, but it is possible. You're just very limited. You got to play within the sandbox of Gutenberg and then use, like, the patterns and the reusable blocks to create the templates, but you don't get to use plugin-based templates. Thank you very much. Did that, did that answer your question, though? I just want to make sure. Yes. OK. People use plug, did people use a plugin? Like, who, who here doesn't use plugins? What, what the hell? Let me try to think. Hi. Um, well, well, this is not a real question. It's just um, about your, your opinion about it. Um, in our agency, we have a great deal of concern regarding the consistency of pages, right? How they will behave and we have to, to at least we try to streak, stick to some templates along the site. Mm -hmm. And we usually avoid to create a large amount of templates or patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, so the writers are a bit limited in this situation. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, um, w I was wondering if uh, in your opinion, this is a good approach to stick to some uh, models only, or some templates, mm -hmm. or should they should they have this ability to add more features to to the general templates? You know, should they add more? So you all you all do use templates. You're trying to avoid creating a whole bunch of them. Exactly, because if you give them the liberty to add some blocks, mm -hmm. they will add, and mm -hmm. we we will lose the the consistency of the website. You know, right. the strategy uh, along the website and everything. So, in your perspective, is this a good practice, or you think that they they should be able to add the features themselves, or add it so the people can add the features themselves to the to the templates themselves. Um, well, I would say when I think about templates, I, d I definitely want to have the word consistency involved. I mean, that would be the purpose of having a template. So once um, it makes things inconsistent, and we're talking about templates, now we're kind of con conflict. There's a big conflict, in my opinion, before we even get to the whole um, capacity or overload of too many templates. Um, and then, as far as your situation, which uh, I'm just still trying to process um, your 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 uh, your process. Um, I would say that giving these people the flexibility to adjust and change or add with limited ability, I think it, it helps. But at the same time, you don't know what you don't know. And maybe they don't know anything that they don't know. So it could, you know, your process could be working. Um, and maybe you want to make a slight adjustment. I wouldn't say move too far away from it because it seems like it's working for you, right? So I don't even want you to move far away from it. But I definitely would say that, um, that I don't think you can go wrong with having too many templates as long as they're categorized. That's the key. You, have, you don't have a categorization system in, in a way where a person can easily get to this and the naming convention is so clear, you don't have to explain what it is, then you're good to go. Once you add too much of anything and things aren't clear because the naming convention, that's when it becomes a bad thing. Yeah. Does that make sense for you? Yeah, yeah, totally. So yeah, categorization is key. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, I definitely think, um, yeah, or, or, uh, organization, uh, naming, structure, uh, even maybe a, a quick hint on when you categorize it, this is typically used for this or that. That way, I'm a big fan of eliminating excuses. If I can eliminate as many excuses by saying, okay, you said you weren't here at 10 o'clock, but I gave you five hour ahead, you know, what is the excuse? Like, yeah, da, da, da. I want to eliminate all the excuses. So if you can eliminate excuses, you'll have less resistance. You're welcome. Any last one before we wrap it up? I want to thank everybody for coming here as well, too. She's looking around for the mic. She's looking around for the mic. She's looking around who needs the mic. Look, she ain't about to miss a beat. She's she going to give you that mic. So don't be shy. All right, all right. Okay. Well, I definitely thank every single person for being here today. I'm hoping that the presentation gave you guys a little bit of edutainment, a combination of education and entertainment, um, and that somebody here has a different perspective, a fresh <laughs> perspective of WordPress. Yes, I went fresh all the way till I couldn't breathe no more. And then I breathed, I took a, and I went back into the fresh. Hopefully it gives you a fresh perspective of WordPress. I am Maestro Stevens, the fresh prince of WordPress. Y'all finally get it now. Dang! Had to bring it back. Uh, shoot, look for me on LinkedIn. You'll see it, Maestro Stevens, the fresh prince of WordPress. Uh, not the king. The king gets killed. You know, everybody's going for the king's throat. I said, I'm going to be the prince. Just to give a fresh perspective of WordPress, because WordPress has been so um, in areas outdated from when it comes to the knowledge. Most people don't understand the modern capabilities of it, and it frustrates a lot of people. And I talked with people, average everyday people, that are not developers, and they want to use WordPress, and they're so scared because they think it's 1992, and they're using the old version of WordPress. I'm dead serious with you guys. Um, WordPress, the whole point of it is supposed to be accessible, right? It's free, but there are a lot of people who don't have a lot of money, and they need the freeness, but they're confused and they're scared because they're so used to what they think WordPress was. So that's why I'm trying to bring a fresh perspective and say, nah, it's, it's something new. So thank you all today. <laughs>